Hey guys, and welcome to part 3 of the New War Aftermath series. This episode is Enemy of My Enemy, and we are going to see an unlikely partnership in order to combat the Archons, in order to revitalise Eidolon of Lotus. As always, thank you for the support of this channel, I am working on the community announcement which I spoke about earlier, so be sure to are subscribed and you click that notification bell to be sure that you are notified when the announcement video is uploaded. If you haven't already, check out the listed social media links below and join our Discord. We are actually expanding the server as we are on our path to Discord partner, so there's a lot of exciting things to come. Anyways, without further delay, let's jump into today's episode of the New War Aftermath, the Enemy of Life. This confirms that you are clearly insane. Peas in a philopod, Ordis. Stay close, in case I come to my senses. Exalted. The dissident remains entrenched in the shadows below. The sea runs crimson with the blood of our faithful. But I will prevail. In Darmer's name, all is one. Clean spirit thins our herd from the shadows. It will not matter. My faith is too strong. The light of Narma will bring it the truth. All as one.
Only... Only I remain. A test of my faith in trembling light. But... I am not afraid. Alice's... His love is within me. All is one. All... Us... Even the Golden Lord of Lies cannot kill you, Tenno. <gasps> she lives, Hanau! No. She only lingers. And without her kind, not for long. Their search for her remains has long since begun. This shadow can dispatch you swiftly. A mercy. The Archons will not. What do they want? The same as you. To raise the dead. Only they have the power to do it. Unlike you. You are just as incomplete as she is. No metal beasts. No void fury. They will snap you in half and plant a veil on your face. Not if you help me. <laughs> help you? Of course. What are friends for? Let me explain what you are up against, friend. You see, the Archons were made by my son, Era. Hybrid abominations of the old war. Raised from the blighted battlefields where Sindiant and Warframe fell. Is that an owl? The Owl is named Boreal. His trident strikes from a great distance. Deadly, chaotic arcs. One might avoid them with a keen eye, if you can anticipate their faint threads before. Even the very ground you walk upon will become Boreal's weapon. He may have a weakness at this moment, but it is not obvious. Worst of all is the paralyzing screech. Terrifying, yet this moment is your only chance to close in, unseen, and strike. What do they call the wolf? Amar. He will gnash his fang blade. Filling the air with deadly coils of flame. Survive the flame, and you might see frenzy. A relentless fury of slashes. Only the greatest of force will subdue him in this. Should he howl, the pack will appear. Mirrors of himself, meant to confuse. Only the true eye can distinguish the Alpha among them. I've seen this snake before. 
You know Nyra, the eldest. Her whip cracks with an Eidolon's wrath. Bone-shattered shockwaves unleashed by every unfurling of its tip. Her whip is more than pain. It is protection. And more, for if you stand in awe of its spiral, the great thunderclap that follows will knock you senseless. Though, she may be diminished somewhat by this exertion. And her gaze. To meet her gaze is certain death. Only by turning away would you hope to survive. Vain, glorious. Welp, that's it. Off you go to die. You have nothing to fight these beasts with. I cannot guess how many lives a Tenno has, but you seem eager to lose another. I've got work to do. You can lay here all you want, doing nothing, wallowing in ancient grudges. She chose the Tenno. But Ballas and your groveling son, they used her. They'll do it again and again, burning her up for whatever suits them and tossing the ashes when they're done. They cannot have her. Tenno, wait. I have wallowed here. It is true. Fading in this deep hole, waiting to die, but without release. Held here by a purpose I cannot abandon that she is free. So no, they cannot have her. But hear me, even if I help you, even if by some miracle you succeed, she will not be the same. Even for us, death leaves a mark. Do you? Understand. I understand. A weapon as old as those you hunt. Not a rock. If you are worthy of Nataruk, you won't mind the little test, will you? Archons will raise the dead to swarm you. But Myra is not the only one to call thunder.
Netarok can fire fast and true. But you will need to time your release with the weapon's rhythm if you hope to pierce the blighted skin of an Archon. Facing the Archon will not be as easy. You must study and prepare.
hardly believe it. He actually agreed to help? Yeah. Bastard even gave me homework. You cannot kill the devil, Tenno. But you can send it back to hell. By the glory and wisdom of the seven, I give my life. By the glory and the wisdom of the seven, I give my life. I give my life. Do you want to get the tension again? evermore. To carry the sacred light of our dominion into the deepest dark. In this, we are one. Our jump schedule has changed again, so we're moving exams up with it. Everyone has studied their temporal axioms unit, I assume. T.A.? We were meant to have physics. By my precepts, I've never had such an enthusiastic group of students. Now, eyes on the main screen and pay close attention. Temporal Axioms, Unit 6, The Prison of Linear Time. Presentism, the obsolete theory of linear time, posits that now is all that is real. In this frame, the present absolute, the now, moves constantly toward the future. When are we ever gonna use this stuff? and leaves the static past behind, discarded, consigned to unreality. The future remains to be discovered, but is less real than even the past. We see the shadows on the cave wall, but not the hands that cast them. The Void offers humanity the truer telling of eternalism that now is merely a facet of a great block. My head hurts. It is relative, and we can change the frame. The tyranny of the present absolute is overthrown. Tomorrow is now its equal. Students, eyes on your own screen. Question one. Which of the following is not one of the theories of time? Presentism, futurism, eternalism. Incorrect. Were you paying attention during the lecture? Try again. Correct. Presentism and eternalism are the principal theories of time. Question two. What is the principal failing of presentism? It considers the present to be the only reality. It has never been endorsed by an Archimedean of unblemished standing. It lacks elegance. It is not true. Correct. As the name implies, presentism considers only the present to be real. Question three. Lintana's parents have been captured, but she has a choice. The button that will open her mother's cell door will flood her father's cell with deadly radiation, and vice versa. She presses one of the buttons. Under eternalism, which of the following statements is universally true? Only one of her parents will survive. Only one of her parents will die. Her parents will survive. Her parents will die. Correct. Versions of reality now exist in which each parent dies. Lintana is assigned to one of them, but the other is no less real and is theoretically accessible. Pardon the interruption. This is Zeraman Actual. All decks, all stations. Stand by for reliquary field Students, please direct your attention to the windows. You may find this instructive. 
in 10, 9, 